Hello, fabulous Aries. I miss you guys with your beautiful energy. So happy to be here with you guys. So before I started this video, I started shuffling, okay? And then I stopped and then I looked on the bottom of the deck. You keep showing up in my readings as a grounded Virgo energy. So once again, you have that Aries passionate energy and grounded energy of Virgo, which means you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. On top of that, you're showing up here as very perceptive, intelligent, strategic. What a great combination. Let's see, Aries. So, of course, this is going to be soulmate reading, just like you wanted, guys. But we're also going to ask about you, what's coming into your life? What you be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for your highest good? Then, in the second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask... How your soulmate is doing right now, what's going on with them, and how they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. What are they thinking, feeling? My gosh, I'm looking at my nails right now on camera. They look so ugly. So I went to a nail salon finally yesterday and asked them, well, it looked nice on the mannequin. When they put it on me, I said, oh, hell no. So I'll never use this color again. It looks horrible. I apologize. I apologize for this ugly color. I didn't think it was going to turn out so ugly, but we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> you never know. So Aries, let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries. For Aries, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Aries? What will Aries be dealing with, facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? What's coming towards Aries? Ooh, I see extra already for you, Aries. Let's see what's going on. And then second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. This is you. Beautiful. You keep showing up like a Virgo. Very strategic, perceptive, direct, honest very good i'm like you see right through any kind of illusion so you read energy body language facial expressions and eye contact very well uh nobody can lie to you or deceive you 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 can sense things you're very perceptive Ooh, look at this so this is you thinking about your soulmate, reminiscing about them, emotional about them. So this also indicates you and your soulmate have past life history. You're waiting to see what they do. A lot of you are dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Virgo, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is actually more Virgo energy than any other sign. Even though it represents air signs, this is a true Virgo energy. So you are waiting. Yeah, you've been waiting patiently. My goodness, Aries, I have to give you credit. You are extremely patient, resilient. Temperance showing up here, beautiful. So you know that this connection you have with your soulmate is very important to both of you. No matter what the problems are, I am very curious to see what will clarify this energy on you. You've been patient, waiting. You've done all you could do, Aries. You're waiting. The ball is in their court, and you want to see what they're going to do. So they are obviously heavily on your mind because they're showing up in your energy. Let me see the extra. Wow. This is interesting. I'm going to clarify this. King of Swords. That is their energy. They very guarded with their heart, their feelings, their emotions, trying to be very strategic, wise in making decisions. Uh, they don't want to be swayed by their emotions. They want to make wise decisions based on logic and intellect, not based on emotions. I am very curious to see what clarifies this. So this person is heavily thinking of you but very guarded emotionally and you guarded towards them too but you do love them you you are turned away you see you turned away so this person has disappointed you many times 
they have disappointed you and you had to tell them off like a Virgo <laughs> I don't blame you you had to tell them off be very forward with them yeah you've balanced a lot of karmic cycles with this person meaning you've learned a lot of lessons um, because of the challenges you encountered with this individual some of you are dealing with Leo also Taurus yeah you see you've gone through a lot of heartbreak Aries you've gone through a lot of heartbreak but you are healing from that heartbreak because the six of swords in this particular deck are pointing down so this is you not um, tolerating any kind of nonsense in your life and moving on with your life telling people around you as it is not sugarcoating anything being honorable this is you um, feeling stressed because this person is not good at communication this is you like you put a ball in the court now it's their turn and it's like they taking forever <clears throat> yeah this person is very slow to action they care for you though but they're very slow to action uh, once they come in they're gonna come in with solid offer the question is when they're gonna come in that's the real question this person is teaching you patience or taught you patience which is one of the more important lessons in life patience acceptance um, they slow to action this is the only night that I truly trust in a love reading night of Pentacles because even though they slow to action once they come in they're gonna come in with solid offer this person respects you a lot so you showing up as virgo again very grounded so you have that combination great combination of aries energy which is passion fire yeah and virgo energy which is very grounded uh resilient steady energy um this person views you as uh, more responsible more mature than them they view you as very compassionate, giving, loving, nurturing, husband or wife material. This is you concentrating on business finances. This is financial prosperity coming to you because of your diligent work. Wow. This is a soulmate connection from past lives for sure. Some of you are dealing with the Leo. <clears throat> this is you. <clears throat> listening to your intuition making very wise decisions choices in your life listening to your intuition the universe is guiding you this is you healing putting behind any heartbreak that you went through disappointments yeah look at this so a lot of you had um some kind of serious shake up in this connection with your soulmate because the tower is showing up here yeah you see they're not good at communication you have to tell them off they're not good at communication look at this silent treatment showing up here my goodness ten of wands and ten of swords indicating the end of that cycle ten is the highest number for minor arcana so this ten of wands and ten of swords indicates this is the worst that you would have experienced with the tower so something was unstable with this person they were not communicating giving you silent treatments and uh it had to be dismantled <clears throat> yeah this is you concentrating on yeah you see you showing up here as the manifester you have beautiful grounded energy manifestation energy magician virgo again so you are manifesting something new in your life whether it's business starting a new business expansion of current business a new job a promotion this is you doing the actual work to have it in your life so nobody is doing it for you you're doing it for yourself you're listening to your intuition guidance and you're following it and success 
financial success and stability and independence just showed up in your reading again let me see what's going on with them then we're gonna go into their energy let me see this is them universe whether they male or female no matter what sign they are um a lot of you are dealing with um aquarius uh libra gemini universe please step in show very clear and important messages what is going on with this energy the soulmate of aries yeah you see they're going through a lot of internal struggles there's a lot of drama going on around them oh yeah this person has a lot of deep emotional regrets so they've done some craziness that they're not proud of uh and they deeply regret it emotionally five of wands with five of cups yeah very guarded emotionally two of swords with the world so you guys have balanced a lot of karmic cycles with this person learned lessons together through challenges a lot of you dealing with pisces cancer scorpio leo sagittarius aries aquarius libra gemini taurus showing up here oh my goodness so this person is not the greatest communicator they feel that they took you for granted they regret things they've done um <clears throat> over analytical over analyzing worried excessively they feel that you may reject them or tell them off look justice so this person wants to do right by you wow this person loves you a lot a lot they love you a lot here you're showing up here with justice so this person wants to do right by you a lot of you are dealing with the libra also virgo showing up here this is how they view you they view you as very independent attractive uh solid uh, steady grounded reliable nurturing all those qualities this also shows you're gonna succeed financially this is financial success coming you have good financial karma let's see what's going on with them let's see universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of aries for aries highest good please universe what's going on with the soulmate of aries what is the soulmate of aries going through facing and how is the soulmate of aries currently relating to aries especially emotionally wow extra popping out yeah you see this matches perfectly the five of cups we just got a few minutes ago here's nine of swords and five of cups they have a lot of deep regrets a lot of deep regrets they over analyzing uh they fearful they have deep regrets emotional regrets yeah this is this is gonna hinder them block them yeah you see they feel heartbreak too this this is all problems with communication fights disagreements of serious nature this is them feeling heartbreak and this is silent treatments wow they view you as a beautiful aries energy here very attractive whether you're male or female they view you as powerful passionate independent not needing anybody for anything they want a new beginning I am very curious to see what clarifies these two energies because with this kind of energy they need to do a lot of work to have a solid beginning with you um let me see the extra yeah they're so scared fearful fearful scared uncertain a lot of you are dealing with cancer pisces scorpio let me see universe what is going on with the soulmate of aries what is going on with the soulmate of aries 
Yeah. Their main objective with you at this time is to reconcile with you. They have a lot of guilt they feeling. Their conscience is bothering them. So they've done some craziness. They've made some mistakes, serious mistakes that they are regretting deeply. They feel heartbreak. Yeah, you see, again, King of Swords from another deck. So this person is very guarded emotionally. Very guarded. Mm -hmm. Wow, they have a lot of respect for you. So here you are again, manifesting. You're gonna, Aries, whether you're male or female, you're going to be very successful if you aren't already. You can manifest whatever you want with this beautiful combination of energies. Queen of Wands with the Magician again. You can manifest whatever you put your mind to. Just keep being proactive and positive and surround yourself with a positive people. Do not allow any negativity into your personal space. Okay, don't let that energy drain you. Um... You can manifest anything you want with this beautiful energy. Combination of these energies is powerful for manifestation. Whether you are wanting to manifest a business, expansion of current business, promotion, the new relationship, whether with them into better, higher levels or somebody else, some new soulmate. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Five of Swords showing up twice from two different decks in the same spread. So you also have been through a lot of heartbreak with them and in life in general. But look how resilient you are. This person doesn't want to fight with you. They don't want to argue. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Ten of Swords. It bothers their conscience not to have you in their life yeah they want to re-enter your life uh, with solid offer so they know you're not going to put up with any nonsense any mind games no any cheap talk of empty promises they know if they're going to re-enter your life if you allow them of course they're going to have to re-enter with solid energy not cheap talk or empty promises this is you manifesting. For a lot of you, you're going to get promotion, new jobs, uh, business opportunities that will be success, expansion of business. This is very good. My goodness, look at this. This is your healing, your heart from disappointment. This is you healing your heart, the highest level of emotions, feelings, joy, emotional fulfillment in minor arcana. Ten of Cups. This is also uh, happiness, joy at home. But for some of you, I feel that for some of you, Aries, you have a lot of pain at home. Emotional pain. Some kind of... Some kind of relationship that you may be in, whether it's family relationship or some kind of other relationship at home, maybe with some family members that is causing you heartbreak, pain. Yeah, but you're so strong. It's like you're not leaving those people. So there's some, there's somebody in your life. Most likely you live with this person, whether it's your karmic person or spouse or somebody that is didn't this show up in your last reading um there's somebody in your life most likely in the family whether it's your karmic person whoever it is that is um this is displaying violent temper quick temper um this person is prone to physical violence when angered that they can't control this person will need some kind of intervention to help them because this person when they get angered uh, they can snap and they won't be able to control it it's going to happen so fast so this person needs some kind of intervention maybe from a counselor or somebody licensed 
this is not a good combination so a lot of you a lot of you Aries have heartbreak in your life currently it's like you're happy on one side and the other side you have heartbreak with somebody in your life that is very toxic and can be explosive <sighs> quick tempered angered when angered can be violent prone to physical violence be very careful Aries hmm yeah they can say mean things too when they angered that are very hurtful things and when they're not angered they can be like sweet 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 and when they angered they have no control over themselves oh yeah <sighs> yeah you showing up here as very wise hermit with ten of cups you showing up here as very wise very introspective my goodness aries you're dealing with a lot you're dealing with a lot so there's some kind of karmic relationship maybe family relationship that you're dealing with let me see what's going on here this is the soulmate of aries the soulmate of aries yeah this person knows they need to be reciprocal for you to take them seriously absolutely a lot of you are dealing with cancer pisces scorpio also taurus virgo capricorn yeah this person views you as marriage material lifetime commitment they would like to have yeah they know that in order for them to manifest this with you they need to be reciprocal they need to communicate consistently they need to put work into relationship it's not going to happen by itself wow you showing up here as very guarded towards them but you loving them you love this person you in love with this person but you very guarded because they have disappointed you so greatly so you are using your wisdom of course you're not gonna wear your heart on a sleeve you're very wise yeah strategic like a judge my goodness aries you're going through a lot uh we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time whoever it is you're thinking of okay uh, as watching this video then we're going to ask about anything your soulmate is currently hiding from you has up the sleeve whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and at the end of course we're going to ask advice for you from universe from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know uh, about your life whether it's your health finances business job opportunities family matters whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so Aries click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there love you guys